Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games, back with another cool pinball repair video for you this evening. I'm a little hoarse, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I feel good, but my voice is a little off. So pardon the, uh, the hoarseness of my voice, but today we're going to work on this blackjack pin pinball machine a little bit more. This is a 1978 Bally Blackjack that a gentleman brought us that he wants us to fix up a little bit. So we already did a video where we worked through all the electronics. Uh, we believe we've got it working pretty steady, but the truth is it was already working whenever we got it. We just kind of worked through it, made sure all the lights were working, serviced all of the boards, um, gave it a good um, uh, every 25-year uh, service. <laughs> it looks like it, the last time it was serviced was in 1998, now it's 2022. So, uh, But it seems to be playing and all of that and everything's working well. But uh, there's a little bit of problems on the play field that we're going to address. So we're going to do that in this video. Now this particular cabinet, this game is really nice. Someone has repainted it at some point and everything else. So it's just a interesting game. I was under the impression that that's not the original paint scheme, that it wasn't even supposed to be that color, but I need to look that up and see. But I mean, obviously it's been repainted. Okay, um, but it's a very clean game. The play field has some wear on it though. So we're going to strip it down and then we're going to repaint part of it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like before we get started. See the, the uh, wear there in the pink and by the way, these are all neon colors, very hard to, to match. So we're going to do the best we can, but it may not end up perfect. There's some wear there under the mylar on that kicker, um, but I have an aversion to removing mylar. It makes the biggest mess, and uh, I, I don't do that. I just leave it. So we won't be able to fix that, but we'll fix the other part. Okay. And then up here, a little bit of wear there. We could probably touch up. But all in all, it's a pretty good little little machine. Now I'm going to show you a close-up of some of this, just so you can see the level that we're talking about. Right, so see how that's all little circles and stuff? This is very common on pinball machines. Basically, the paint starts cracking, and it's just, that's just what it does. There's no, you can't stop it or anything. And then as the ball rolls over it, it kind of makes these little semicircles in it and grinds dirt down into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything off of it, clean it up as best we can, and then we're going to use a magic eraser to try to clean some of that dirt out of those little cracks and get it to look a little better. Now when you get right down to it like this, you're still going to see a little bit of this, but it, we should be able to get rid of um, half of it or so. And you can see when they put the mylar on, see how that you can see the same wear underneath the mylar? And you can obviously see right there where there was the ball was uh, bouncing off this rubber and tearing up the wood, which is why they put the mylar to protect that, right? Um, but they didn't get it completely clean before they, they did that, which means we're not going to be able to get it completely clean because it's under the mylar. <laughs> but we'll see what we can do. There's a little bit of wear around these inserts too. Might mess with that a little bit. Right? But don't expect miracles, people. But we can make it look more presentable than it is for sure. And it needs uh, new rubber rings, things like that, obviously. This target is broken, so we're going to replace that. And then also, some of this stuff up here seemed like it was loose to me. Yeah, that right there. So that's just bouncing around. And these, very loose. The pop bumpers are fine though. So it's that post and both of these, but it could just be they just need tightened up. But we're going to take everything off the play field and start cleaning it. So I'm going to have my brother Joey come in and start messing with it. Uh, this is just how we're kind of starting and we'll see how it ends up once he takes everything off the play field.
right, so this is what it looks like so far. All we've done is clean it. Like I said, uh, it's hard to get it perfect, so this is where we're at. <laughs> right? But if you look, it's actually cleaner than it is under the parts that they mylard, so... It is what it is, people. We'll get it looking pretty good. Once everything's back on it and there's a lot of wax on it, it'll be cool. But we have to touch up the paint, okay? And it's this neon paint. It's so bright. But the good news is uh, they used this same paint for a while. I don't know if the same company was silk screening all the company's stuff, but these pinks are similar, the greens are similar, the yellows are similar, the oranges are similar. So we'll see. So we got a little bit there that we want to do. And a little bit down here that we want to do. And then a little bit here in the middle. So uh, maybe the middle would be the easiest to do first. We can just do that with a black marker. Um, it just it kind of comes down to how much of it do you want to do. I don't really want to go through and do every little part of it. Because then you have to clear coat every part of the play field. But what we use is acrylic paints. Uh, so that we can spray over them with clear coat after we're done. So the black I'm going to do with these little black paint pens. Water based. Somebody actually sent me this box of them but we've got these on our website. If you go to lionsarcade.com there's a link down below and go on our parts page we have a link to a lot of the stuff that we use in our videos. But you can just, it's just whatever cheap um, acrylic paint pens you get or that you prefer will work just fine. So I'm going to go through and ink in the black that's missing. And then we'll probably mix just a little bit of blue for the couple little spots that it needs it, but it's most of it's black. Okay, uh, so let me do that and then uh, that should clean that up a little bit and then uh, we'll see about what we can do with this pink. Okay, so I inked the circles back in, made it look pretty good. I just did these so that, again, I don't have to try to clear coat the whole play field. But I also did the one up there because I'm going to be clear coating, spot clear coating that little part, right? You may do different on yours. Okay, so uh, we have to paint in this hot pink. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different pinks. I bought this for a game a while back. They're calling it neon pink. It's pretty close. It's a little too... It's a little too hot though, <laughs> so we got to knock it down just a little bit just to make it a little less vivid. Um, and it may be a little bit too bright, um, so let's see how we can accomplish that while I answer the phone. Spam. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm going to use a little bit of this buttermilk, which is like an off-white. If you look, the whole play field is kind of yellowed a little bit, so an off-white is a better match than like a pure white. So all of these areas here originally were white, but now they've yellowed. So I'm going to use this as a primer over the bare wood. There's not much of it there, but just by doing this, it'll make it where it's a little easier to get the pink, the pink to cover because since it's such a bright color um, and a light color that it, uh, the pigment's not enough to, to cover, to uh, cover very well without, um, um, a primer. So we're going to use it as a primer and just paint a little bit of that and while I'm at it I'll do it up there as well because we'll have the same problem when we do that. So I'll paint in a little bit of this and then we're going to take this hot pink and I'm going to mix a little bit of this in it to lighten it because it's a little bit too dark. Okay and then what I've been doing lately is like I said the whole play field has yellowed a little bit but it seems like when we're mixing the paint, if I put a little bit of green, it kind of makes it match a little better. So I may, I may actually try a little bit of like a green in it, just a, like a drop or so. If you think about it on a color wheel, um, red is up here, green is down here. Um, or is it, see it's red, orange, yellow, green. Yeah, red and green are opposite each other. So to make something that's red, less red, you put a little bit of green in it, just a tad, and you kind of pull it off through the color wheel. Um, so pink is kind of a reddish orange or whatever. Um, it's up in that area. 
so anything in the kind of green area will kind of knock it back a little bit. So that's what I'm that's what I'm uh, um, going to try. I've got all these other pinks as well, but they're not quite the right hue. Like this looks purple. This looks purple. This looks purple. And this looks purple. <laughs> this is the only one that actually looks pink. Right? So uh, let me put a little bit of the primer on, and then uh, I may put just like a little bit of the pink on just so we can see uh, what it looks like. It may be, if I put this on, since it goes on thin, maybe it'll show the buttermilk through it, the primer through it, and it'll be a decent match, but we'll try. We'll mess around with it a little bit. It's hard to, it's hard to get it right, uh, just right out of the bottle without having to mix it and do it again and do it again, do it again until you get it perfect. But since we only have this one spot, the only problem is it's right here where you can see it all the time. Not ideal. So you can see how it looks with the, um, just a little bit of primer. And so I took the pink, I lightened it just slightly with the buttermilk, and then I put one drop of green in it. It just happened to be Irish moss. It kind of looked like, I wanted one that was kind of bright, you know, because it's supposed to be neon. And so we ended up with this color, which is, eh, eh, it's close. It's slightly off, but that's about as good as you're going to get like a neon color. It's just, it's hard to get it dead on the money. But it certainly looks a lot better. Okay. I also inked in that line actually on the Mylar. I think I might try putting a little paint on the Mylar. Since we're going to clear this area, we can just clear the Mylar too and see what happens. Um, but I think it looks better just with the line drawn back in. We got lucky that it's an orange, so it you know it hides it pretty good anyway. But I'll try putting a little bit of the orange paint on it. So the pink is still drying. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should try to dirty it up by like just touching it a little bit and see if I get <laughs> dirt ground into it a little bit. It'll make it match a little better, but it, it's not bad already, right? Okay, so that's the pink. Now, the orange. So the orange is this same kind of neon orange. A lot of neon colors, right? So I have a neon orange acrylic paint but it's too dark. And I have a neon yellow acrylic paint and it's too bright. Right? <laughs> Look at that. That's I think that was probably yellow originally. Look over there. It's it's slightly more green than yellow. They're they're all kind of greened. They're greened out. So I mixed a little bit of the orange and I mixed a little bit of the yellow. And I got this. Looks pretty close to me. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. This stuff is so thin, though. These neon colors, like you, you paint it on, you can't even see it, right? I think it's just it's real thin. So I'm gonna paint a little bit on though, and uh, we'll see. That's why we use acrylic because you can just wipe it right back off. Okay, so let me uh, let me paint it on, and we'll let it dry a little bit and see how close of a match it is. All right, we're waiting for that to dry. The orange dries too dark, so I'm going to have to put a lot more yellow in that. So the blue, we've got this cerulean blue. Is that what that means? It says. And nautical blue. So I have mixed those together. I got it pretty close, but same thing. It looks like it needs to go a little more green. So I'm going to put a little, just a tiny bit of green in it to try to get it a little more to that side and uh, we'll see if that matches but you can see that on the blue you can't even hardly see where it's missing anyway so we're just literally going to do a couple little tiny spots all right so that's about as close as I could get it um, the uh, the pink is all right the orange eh, it's a little off the black's pretty good the blues pretty good and then the orange up there, it's a little too dark, but 
These neon colors, almost impossible. I did one before uh, a Jubilee, I think, and man, it didn't come out good at all. It's, uh, the, the more dull the colors, the easier they are to mix. But we're going to roll with it. So I'm going to spray a little bit of clear coat on it. We just use Rattle Can Clear. I'm literally just going to spray over the areas that I painted and let it dry a little bit, and we'll wax it and uh, uh, put it all back together. I think it'll look pretty good.
All right, folks. Joe got it all back together. We think it's looking pretty good. He's going to play a game pretty quick. Joe, I'm going to read the instructions for you to make you play better. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Bally's Blackjack. Look at it. Woo! All right, Joe. One to four people can play. If you make the diamond and the heart lanes, it lights the center thumper bumper to score 1,000 points. Okay. So that means the ones at the top. Making the diamond heart club and spade lanes. So if you make all four of them, it lights the spinner to score 1,000 points and the bottom out lanes to score 50,000 points. That's good. Because you, you, you end up in the out lanes all the time. Yeah, all the time. It'll light those. Ball in the eject saucer when player's hand is equal to... Now, here's the, this is important, Joe, and you need to listen to this now. The ball in the eject saucer. So that's the one up there. When the player's hand is equal to or better than the dealer's hand constitutes a wiener. Beat the dealer. So you got a dealer's hand and a player's hand and the, the light just kind of goes around, does its thing. So if you land in that saucer, now I know you're you're a perfect shot. You can do that anytime you want. Anytime. So if you land in that saucer whenever your hand is better than the dealer's hand, it's all gravy. Uh, beating the dealer awards either a 2x bonus value all the way up to a special. So I guess every time you do it, you get 2x, 3x, 5x, blah, blah, blah. Beating the dealer value increases each time the dealer is beat, just like I just said. One replay each time the dealer is beat when the special light is lit. So you basically, if your hand is better than the dealer's hand, bam, straight into the saucer. That's how you win the whole game. Okay. All right. So we got one light that's blinking. I'm going to fix that real quick. All right, we think we got the light bulb fixed. I wanted to mention the paint, too. I think I mentioned it in the previous video. This is not the original paint. Somebody has repainted it, and they did an excellent job. It, the, the art actually looks better than the original one, which is crazy. Originally, it was a blue cabinet, and it had little cards on the side, and they don't really look that great. And uh, whenever you get them, they're in bad shape and everything. But some, some, somebody has repainted this whole cabinet. And they didn't paint it white. It's like a cream color, which looks great. It's got splatter paint on it that's silver. And then it's got these uh, stenciled uh, artwork on it that has overspray and everything on it. Looks like factory, but it's not factory. It's, uh, it's just a really nice repaint job. So whoever did that, kudos to you. And I, I think I did show them the coin door on the first video. Um, so I'm going to show you a picture of what it looked like originally. All right, Joey's going to play it with the lights on since that's how everybody likes it. <laughs> Maybe we'd do one with the lights on and one with the lights off, Joe. All right. <laughs> right down the middle. The lights on messed me up. See, I got a glare, you see. Yeah, uh-huh, that's true. Woo, it's got good action, Joe. You know who you're better at? What? You're, you're better than Matt with this. If Matt was here, he'd be losing. Well, that's pitiful. <laughs> Get stymied by the spinner, Joe. Yep. See, See we're, we're test playing, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it jinxed me. They've got it set on five ball, too. That's the easy, easy way. Uh huh. They're cheating with, with five ball. There's.
gives them points. Now you got it. He's up to 28,000. <laughs> don't land in the saucer. You don't have the winning hand yet, Joe. How about now? No, you still don't. I did that on purpose. Get to get to 50,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense. Well, that was All right, quick. he got 90,000. I'm going to turn out the lights and we try it one more time. 90,000 with the lights on. Got to try to do better than that. <laughs> See, this is how they're meant to be played here. Oh, the dealer's hand. Oh, hey, you got it. Land in the saucer. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Boom. Woo. Told you. One again. Look, I got it rigged. Free game. Woo! <laughs> well, that helped you out. I guess you could adjust that to where it lands a little off of the th thumper bumper. I like it like that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it is kind of fun. Same player shoots again. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's got 83,000 on ball number one. <laughs> Barely got it. Hey, you, hey, land of the saucer, you're gonna win again. Mm. Missed it. Well, I've already done better than last time. Yep. Land in the saucer. You are winning at the moment. Nope. Don't do it now, Joe. Don't do it. Mm. Oh. Well, he's up to 108,000, and this is ball three. There you go. Oh, oh, so much for that. And slid it right by you. <laughs> you think anybody's going to figure out our secret? I don't know. Probably not, since I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know about the thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Yep, they just figured it out. <laughs> ah, you lost, Joe. Don't do it again, you lost. Don't do it a third time, you lost. I still get 5,000 points, though. That's a good point, yeah. All right, that was ball four. He is at 162,000 on ball five. Gonna roll it. I rolled the mm. roll hide the other day. Mm, mm, mm. All right, folks. Well, there you go. What a beautiful game. Isn't this a great one, Joey? Boy, it's good. The customer is coming to pick it up. Yep. Uh, we told them uh, that we think it plays much better than it did before. So I mm -hmm. think they will enjoy it a lot. Uh, we got the display fixed. Mm -hmm. We got the play field cleaned and the paint touched up. Yep. We got all new rubber rings on it. Yep. We got the light bulbs doing their thing, mm -hmm. all the bulbs. We got new locks on it. Mm -hmm. We adjusted the slope of the play field a little bit to get, make it a little, it was a little more flat before. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, oh, the target. The target. We replaced the red target. Did you film that you yep, did that? I filmed it. We replaced the red target. I think it's ready to go. Slap her on the back. Top of the line. All right, folks, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. If you, uh, if you, hey, you know what? If you want to support our channel, here's how you can do that. Go to our website, lionsarcade.com, and we have a parts page on our website. Now, here's, I know what you're thinking. Well, I like watching your pinball videos, but I don't really want to buy any parts. It's not what I'm saying. There are, there's a parts page that has a bunch of links to Amazon of some of the parts that we sell. Okay, so let's say you go there and you look at our uh, 
we've got like a multimeter that we use that's on there. And you go click on the multimeter. Well, now you're on Amazon and you followed one of our links to Amazon. If you buy anything on Amazon, after you click that link, whatever you buy, it gives us a percentage of what you buy, so that helps us out. So you may not want to go buy one of our multimeters or our paint or whatever we've got linked on there, our little tools that we use and stuff. Uh, but it, uh, if you use that as your link to Amazon and go in there and buy socks, we get a per, uh, percentage of whatever you buy on there, even if it's a pair of socks, right? So we appreciate everybody that's been doing that. It's been uh, going up and up, so people have been uh, supporting us a lot. We appreciate it. Uh, so go check that out, and make sure to check out my brother, Donnie. If you don't know about that, that's my brother on YouTube. Uh, he's got a channel. If you like watching us working on these pinball machines, you would love watching my brother, Donnie, work on cars, trucks. We've got a couple old buildings that we're working on and all kinds of cool stuff. So go check that out, um, and we will see you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed it.